Just wanted to show quickly the equipment we use to uh, rotationally graze our goats. Nothing real fancy here. We do extensively use the electric net fencing. And this is a pause neg configuration. And the reason why that is because uh, we have dry periods here with sandy soil in central Florida. Summertime when the rains come and hurricane season kicks in, yes, we do get a lot of rain. But right now in March, it may only rain maybe an inch all month, if that. The Posne configuration. This is a three joule charger. <clears throat> that brand is Speedrite. Runs on DC battery. It's a nice light setup easy to move but we extensively use electric netting around all animal enclosures and again we have not had any losses to date and the water system is just simple two buckets and we fill them twice a day as needed tarps that's the only shelter our goats get and like i said right now it's a dry season so we'll just tarp up and they can get underneath that just basically want to uh break the wet off their back but a lot of times they'll just get into a thick blow down like that and just hunker down in there so nothing fancy everybody stays in the field no barn everybody kids in the field no assistance net fencing one of the things i want to emphasize a lot of people have trouble we had a lot of trouble getting it to stand straight and when it comes from the factory this is premier and again i'm not promoting them specifically one thing is the factory posts which is right there and the next factory post is right there i think it's 13 feet 12 and a half 13 feet that is way too long of a distance without having something in the middle so what i have to do is go over to the farm store and these run about a buck fifty and they're just step in posts and i just put them in between it does add weight to when you pick up the fencing but nothing that's not manageable but more importantly look how straight that fence stands there's no bowing and that gets you a good energized fence line so anything that comes up and sniffs that, it's going to get popped. The other thing I can't emphasize enough of is putting in these drivable T-posts. And sometimes uh, when I run out of those and if I need more, I'll just cut some uh, thick pine branches and sharpen the end and stake it in. But tying off the corners is critical. And that gives you something you can pull against. If you're not doing that, you pretty much need... A perfectly level field and paddock system and we don't have that we're running this through the woods extremely thick woods and now it's become more manageable but basically extra step in posts and the rigidity and stability that drivable t-posts on the corners that tie off to is essential